In part three of Robot in a Maze, I'm going to show you how to read through the turn and move procedure, which was created in the spirit of an AP question. Anytime you have to read through code, there is a concern that you're going to spend too much time on one particular question. Because remember, you only have two hours to answer 74 multiple choice, multiple select questions. So you just can't spend too much time on just one question. I think the best way to speed up is to start doing more and more practice questions. So you figure out your own way of problem solving quickly. You're going to be slow to start probably, but over time, as you improve your code reading and problem solving skills, you will naturally speed up. So let's see. There are a couple of ways to solve this problem. We have to get the robot in the bottom right of the maze all the way to the gray box in the top left. I would say that the slowest way to answer it is to try the code from the four answer choices all inside of the procedure. That's going to be really slow because if the answer is the fourth one down here, then you're going to have to go through the three previous ones to realize it. For a question like this, I would actually suggest reading the code quickly first and coming up with a solution yourself, and then find the answer choice that matches. First, the procedure turn and move has two parameters, number of turns and number of moves. It takes both of these as input. Next, we take whatever was input into number of turns and repeat this line or this block that many times. And in this block, we are rotating left. Next, we go on to the next block of code, repeat number of moves times, and we take whatever was input in number of moves, and we repeat move forward that many times. All right, so let's look at our robot. We have our robot facing up in the bottom right corner. To get him to the gray block in the top left, we have to first rotate or turn one time left. So that way we can get him facing this way. So I'm going to write that down rotate left one time. Next, we have to get the robot to move forward one, two, three blocks. So we have to move forward three times. And now the robot is going to be right here in the light blue, facing forward. So if we convert what I just went over, this part, into the procedure, it's going to be turn and move, one comma three. So already we've narrowed down the answer choices by half. All right, next, the question becomes, how do we turn right if we can only rotate left? We have to rotate left three times, one, two, three. So that way the robot will face up. Then we have to walk forward one, two, three, four, five steps. So our next line of code must be turn and move three comma five. And we will be facing up. Finally, to get the robot in the gray box, we have to turn left one time and then move forward two times, one, two. And then the robot will be facing forward and this is our solution. So now we have to find this in the answer choices. So based on everything we just went over, I believe the answer has to be this third one, where turn and move one comma three is the first line, turn and move three comma five is the second line based on everything we went over, and obviously turn and move one comma two must be the last. All right, I will see you in lab two.